Next tonight, it's hoped the introduction of driverless cars will help the West Country's ageing population stay mobile and help reduce loneliness. Today, residents at a retirement village in Bristol were given a glimpse into the future and were even taken on a test drive. Sangeet Lal joined them at St Monica's Trust. It's cost five and a half million pounds and taken three years, but finally, the UK's first driverless vehicle for older people is here. This is a pod zero. Its aim is to prevent loneliness in older people and to keep them living independently, something Hamish and I discussed on a test drive. I think people who, who are disabled, and a, quite a large number of people, particularly as they would get into their 90s, uh, who, who do have difficulty walking, it's quite extensive garden that it's nice to be able to go around and view it and see what's going on. Hamish has been a resident at St Monica's Trust for the last six years. He says this technology could revolutionise mobility in the elderly. It is one less uh, difficulty having a thing that they don't have to use their hands or even really think about it. Someone who is having to think a lot about her independence is Monica. She has a condition called macular degeneration, which means she may completely lose her eyesight. Well, what can I do? Nothing, can I? I've done what I can. I've seen all the medics, or I'm seeing the medics, and uh, I'm doing as much as I can. If it goes, it goes. It's part of going old. <laughs> Monica's hobby is patchwork and quilting. At the moment, she relies on public transport to get her to and from her meetings. I know I won't be able to do it for much longer, so I would be able to get in the pod and uh, take me to Redland, where we meet once a month. Teams at the University of the West of England have partnered with St Monica's Trust to encourage independent living in later life. It shouldn't be something that frightens us and it shouldn't, old age shouldn't be something where life stops. People think older people aren't interested in technology or are scared by it. What they want is something that will help them be on an equal basis and stay connected to the world. Today's test drive has allowed experts to gather more feedback on the technology. For Hamish, there's only one priority. Certainly when one becomes unable able to drive, it would be useful to be able to get in a gadget that could take you to the pub. <laughs> oh, really, driver. <laughs> that might be suggesting yes. The wonders of technology gets you to the pub. Yeah, great to have Hamish back on the programme as well. Quite a character. Yeah, it really was. And that was Sangeeta Lal reporting there.